Max Christmas Hagen Factory. This week's video, three part video. We've got a, at the start, we've got the 350 fellow set of Hagen update. Uh, it's looking really good, it's never been so close. So I'll have a look at that. I'd like to thank everybody for their input and all the messages about the Marketplace Find, the Wheel Racing Car. Uh, we've got a bit of an idea what it might be now, so if you want to find that out, you'll have to flick through the video. And the last part of the video, uh, the old man in the past, we've done a couple of videos on, he's been working on the 500cc matchless Selic Speech Racer. Uh, he's got a quick update on that, so let's have a look. Empty bottles and wasted time I got nothing to show for I'm a waste of time Except the trouble Worried mind I got I'm sure you've all been watching these videos and as you know I've had a fair few problems with the old Velocet 350A and uh, with the engine plates uh, not being strong enough and being a bit flexible so as you know we went through it all I made all new plates all new adjusters moved the engine forward 10 mil managed to do all this without modifying the exhaust so it's all new plates uh, it's come up pretty well still got to change a couple of the oil lines run over all the nuts and bolts but I think we're just about there and the primary is nearly finished I'll show you that on the other side apart everything just needs to be checked again make sure the cables are running in the right positions so they're nice and free uh, we've got the Ian McLeod number plate on the front as well that he donated uh, now with the primary cover I know it looks a bit of overkill but the big main part of the primary cover that's a structural member as well because the engine plates are so close together just to help make up the strength so we've gone from this bolt to this bolt and back down to the bottom there and that's going to help support everything so just going to give those a bit of a clean up today uh, three spaces need to be machined up and then bolt that on then we'll tie all the cables down refill it with oil and uh, get ready for a start and then we'll go out to our mate dave's airstrip and we'll have a run up and down there and uh, hopefully the development can start and we can Turn this bike into a really nice, reliable machine. I think it's going to be great. Dad's a bit excited by it, and uh, be good to see him ride. So let's get on with it. find so what we found out that it's a techno uh, f4 k250 well it could be a k250 up to 400 so overseas they race these um, they ran motorbike engines as you can imagine being a small open wheel than it is 250 ducatis bull tacos all that sort of stuff now what we've got it's a copy it looks like uh, it's built a bit heavier uh, I've had a lot of people look at it and a lot of information, a lot of photos of original ones, which I'm going to show you now. Uh, it's a good find, and we are going to do something with it. But I think I've changed my mind on the Triumph engine. And we might go for something a bit smaller, like it, what it would have had in it. So, uh, let's have a look at it. Back on these streets are quicksand And the 
city is on borrowed time Um, this is um, the customer's 500 matchless that he's going to race at Salix Beach. Uh, you've seen a bit of film on this before, but um, had a lot of work done to it. Had some special cams built for it, and um, a place called Headworks did the cylinder head, which, and I believe that's the last motorbike cylinder head they're going to do. Okay. So they've ported it. They've um, converted it to coil springs, put bigger valves in it. Generally a nice job too. It's okay. a bit of a shame if we're not doing any more. Yeah, well you're heading that by yourself, are you? Mm, I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm going to slow down on doing stuff. Yeah. Unless it's got Valoset written on it. If anybody wants any Valoset repairs for early Valoset, I don't want to do Venoms and that, but cast iron, Max MSS's moulds, any of that stuff. Um, Alloy Max, I'd be prepared to have a look at that. So get in touch with us. If you want yep. any Valo stuff done, yeah, get in touch. Um, right, uh, yeah, so we've, uh, I've just put the carby back on it this morning and uh, the throttle that came with the bike's not really up to it, but uh, I've got another one there to put on. Um, and we're just about to set the um, ignition timing. Um, I've put the valve lifter lever back in with some new O-rings on it. Yep. Um, yeah, so that's about it. We're just going to uh, set up the ignition timing and hopefully it'll be right and it'll go well. Excellent. I reckon it should go fairly well with the cams the, the head works head and the bigger carb and everything. Yeah. Well, he's had a bit of success on this bike, hasn't it's he? It's gone quite well at times, yeah. yeah. But um, it's had a few issues. Um, it, it had a, a dodgy piston in it that expanded uh, to a size that you wouldn't believe. <laughs> yeah, and that was in one of our previous videos, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but other than that, yeah, no, it should be all right. It should, it should be quite a good go of this thing. Um, I got my guy to bore the cylinder, so I know that it's got the right clearance. I'm, I'm very happy with that. And I assembled the motor some time ago. I just had the bare motor here for a while. I assembled the motor, gave it back to the owner, and him and a couple of his mates put it back in. Um, there's uh, been a few little issues here and there. Um, I couldn't turn it over on the Kickstarter for a start, and the the primary chain was that tight. Yeah, I okay. believe how tight the primary chain was. Really? Yeah. So, um, like you didn't pull the bloody half shaft out of the crank. <laughs> yeah, the crank. So yeah, I've um, I've backed that off, and uh, can turn it over. But I think it might be a bit of an issue to start this, you know, when when we do get it all back together, because it's, it's just got fixed timing. It's got no retard, yeah. so you can't retard the timing to start it. Yep. Um, so yeah, it could be a bit of a couture. Big singles are a bit like that though, aren't they? They're 500 Velo in the slider, that's the same. Like once it's going, it's good, but uh, yeah. it can be an issue to get going. It can yeah. be a bit hard to get fired up. But uh, I think it'll go kachuff and probably throw someone over the handlebars. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, uh, so that's what we're up to with this. It's getting a bit closer. Um, just while Chris is here today, I'll get him to help me set the um, ignition timing and um, so that is your two-man job. So we'll go ahead and do that. Definitely. Um, yeah, and I've just got to set a throttle up for it, uh, put a valve lifter cable on it. Doesn't seem to have a valve lifter lever on it, unless that's, oh yes, it has, it has got one, it's up there, okay. I think I've got one at home. Yeah, there's yeah, one, one. one, there's one, yeah. there's one, there, there's one there anyway. So I'll put a cable on that, and uh, hopefully um, it should go. Excellent. Um, the gearbox has been full reco too by um, a good friend of mine, Wayne Sherlock. He's a he's an AJ Matchy guru. Okay. Yep. Uh, he he spent a lot of time on the gearbox and did that all up. So it should be a pretty good bike. Excellent. All right. Yeah. Good. Well, he's spent a few bucks on it. So he let's has. hope it's. Spent uh, some money on it. We just hope it's all right for yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Fantastic. Okay. Right. Oh, same as every other week. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell everybody. Let's bring Hagen's back.